So the World Cup has kicked off in all its glory and while Brazil may be sealing the show on the field, when it comes to fixed income, it's worth noting the risks that come hand in hand with the country's bonds. I think Brazilian bonds still have a quite elevated risk premium compared to other emerging markets. On the one, one hand, we have the election coming up. Also, remember that Brazil is very dependent on uh, commodity exports. And uh, even though we see higher oil prices now, uh, the lower global growth and also lower commodity prices have hampered the growth for Brazil. So I guess this is one of the major uh, factors for Brazilian economy also going forward. Uh, they are too dependent on uh, commodities. That said, Simon doesn't mean Brazilian bonds are a no-go. He simply means you should know what you're getting yourself into. Take a look at these numbers. If you buy Brazilian government bonds in US dollars, you get paid 4.32% in return. But if you buy them in Brazilian real, you get a whopping 12% return. But the downside, of course, is that you're exposed to the Brazilian real and the volatile Brazilian economy. Actually, on the other side, I think we have a risk premium uh, where all of these uh, risk factors are accounted for. So I believe in the present scenario with very low yields all around, uh, I guess uh, investors have to consider these uh, additional factors, but also uh, you don't see uh, these huge economies with such uh, high yields. So I guess uh, it could be a good investment in some of the bonds, especially selected corporate bonds.